Hey guys, welcome back to Back Pocket Game Reviews. And boy, oh boy, do I have a juicy old piece of GameStop news for you today. So, a lot of you already kind of knew about this because I posted about it on Twitter, but GameStop ripped off an 11-year-old kid. We're going we're gonna to jump into this. I didn't make the video because I wanted to see how it was all going to play out. And you'll find out about that here throughout this video. So, uh, my wife's friend, who she babysits for and she's good friends with, uh, we were, who we went, the person's house we went to for New Year's Eve. Her son received a GameStop gift card for Christmas, and he went in and he needed points. It was either, I believe it was for NBA 2K18, is what he was getting points for. GameStop Associate did not confirm what console he needed it for, and just assumed that he wanted it for Xbox and sold him an Xbox code, and unfortunately, he is a PlayStation gamer, so that Xbox code was useless to him. He, rec he realized it before he made it out the door of the GameStop, and had mentioned it to the dude working at the GameStop. The dude then said, there's nothing I can do, you know, it's all sales are final. So first off, I want to state, as a GameStop employee, one thing you are told to always do is make sure when you are selling digital anything that you're selling it for the right console, because it's not returnable. So, yeah, to an extent, that is also the customer's responsibility to know what they need it for, but it's also your responsibility as the associate to make sure that you are getting them the right one. So this dude sells him the wrong code for the wrong console. The kid was like, you know, I, I can't use this. So he goes, oh, okay. Snatches the receipt from him. Snatches the receipt. Guy takes the receipt from the kid. So now the kid has no code, no points, no nothing. The dude was literally just robbed by a GameStop associate. Now, I've seen managers that would sell the wrong code intentionally, then do some stuff or tell them to call corporate and complain, and then they would turn around and use the code that they couldn't use. I have seen that happen before. There are some shady individuals that work for GameStop. There are shady individuals that work everywhere. I've worked for GameStop, though, and I've seen them in action, so I know a little more about them doing that. Um, now, with that being said, I don't know if that's what the guy was doing. I don't know if he intentionally did it this way. But I get that the kid agreed to it. There's also an 11-year-old. By the way, an 11-year-old cannot make any kind of legally binding agreement or agree to TOS because... He doesn't legally have any rights. It's his parents that have to agree to that all for him. So this is where it's, it's kind of messy with this situation. Um, but for the GameStop associate to just take the receipt, like this is mine now, is pretty messed up to do to an 11-year-old. So his mom called my wife, you know, saying, you know, I, I don't know what to do. And I had advised her to call corporate and complain. GameStop corporate typically will go ahead and bend over backwards to prevent you from complaining too loudly and to essentially just shut you up before it blows into a shitstorm for them. Uh, which GameStop corporate did. GameStop corporate was like, oh, we're going to go ahead and send you out a gift card. We'll take care of it. We're sorry this happened. Yada, yada, yada. It'll take three to four business days and you'll receive a gift card in your email. So... Three to four days go by. As some of you know you've been waiting on this video. And GameStop Corporate calls finally to go, you know, I didn't receive this gift card you all said you were sending me. And they stated under further review, they decided to not send her a gift card. We're not going to notify her that they changed it. Because why would they? They're GameStop. They don't really give two craps about you or your kid. Just, just want your money. They just... They like your money. Lots of money. So, <laughs> customer service means nothing to them. But, rather than notify her, like, hey, you know, we decided against reimbursing you and giving you the gift card for this, the kid's just now out his money. So, 
they told her to go into the store and ask for an exemption. How are you going to ask for an exemption now? I, I mean, you don't even have the receipt to go into the store and be like, you should be reimbursing me or anything like that. The dude at the store took the receipt. So literally GameStop store level ripped her off and then corporate decided it's not our problem. Wow, GameStop. Like, wow. It's almost like they walked up to like a little kid with a sucker and they're like, mine now. Thanks. Oh, you bought the sucker here too? Even better. Isn't that just so messed up? Like, <laughs> There's that part of me that wants to be, because I, don't get me wrong, I, I understand sometimes the customer isn't always right. There is a lot of times where it, it isn't necessarily that the associate made a mistake, but in this particular instance, the associate messed up, the associate then stole from the kid, and then corporate was like, screw you! It's like that South Park episode with the cable company and they're all rubbing their nipples. It's kind of like that. That's literally how this all played out. And as I said, I wanted to wait because I wanted to see how this was going to work out. And the funny part is this particular GameStop that it happened at was actually the GameStop that I went into with the Lame Stop t-shirt on during the live stream. Some of you may remember that live stream. I walked into this GameStop wearing a lame stop shirt and the employees were talking about how terrible of a company it is and how terribly ran it is. Yeah. Yeah, that was this GameStop. Weird, huh? But it is what it is. Uh, and unfortunately, this kid is screwed out of a Christmas gift due to GameStop. By the way, if GameStop's selling you digital anything, make sure you're confirming what console they're selling it to you for. Because the associate that works there can't make the decision to reimburse you for it themselves. They can't do that. You do have to contact corporate. Now, the other route you can go is you can always try to find the district manager's number and get a hold of the district manager personally. Then you're still at the mercy of the district manager, and some district managers can be D-bags and ununderstanding D-bags at that. But typically, the district manager is just going to be heated that someone found their phone number. You can find them online. I kid you not. That if you're willing to look and figure out what district you're in, it is something you can obtain and raise more hell than what you need to. But... I just think it's really funny that neither GameStop corporate nor store level was willing to do the right thing or fix the issue. Cause, I mean, it's not really the kid's fault. This isn't like the kid went out of his way to grab like... <laughs> oh, man. Uh, and that's the best part is that it happened to someone I know. So obviously I was going to make it very public. Especially if it blew up in this way. I was hoping that I'd get to say, you know, all oh, GameStop corporate did the right thing. Uh, it would have ended on a better note. Rather than me sitting here talking about GameStop stealing from children. But apparently they're no longer beyond that. That's now their new MO. Uh, I, I'm kind of shocked. To some extent. Th this, this one actually really shocked me. Uh, I, I wouldn't have expected it. I wouldn't have seen it coming. I would have, I mean, it, as a store associate, you know, my, my thing was always, I wanted to be good at my job. I wanted to be the best at what I was doing. So I was always very, I'll take care of the customer. And there's sometimes where you can't necessarily go beyond what corporate wants. And I understand that, but I can advise the customer, Hey, contact corporate, let them know. Um, you know, there's always typically ways around that, but in this particular instance, even corporate gave them a giant finger. Wow. Man. Um, but you'll only hear about this here on my channel because it was someone I knew. Isn't that just delightful? Uh, but yeah, l let me know what you guys think about it. Blow this up. Make it a big deal. I feel bad for the kid because he literally got screwed out of a Christmas present by GameStop. You know, the place that she spent a lot of money for Christmas. So, just just make, share the video. Get this out there. I, I'm just...
please do that for me. I, I would love to see GameStop Corporate respond in some way to this. Guys, let me know what you think down in the comments down below. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. And if you're new to the channel, don't forget to click that subscribe button. I appreciate all of you that watch the videos and who stick around and interact with me in the comments. That comment section is a party, and I promise you, I will bring that party to that comment section. <laughs> Just kidding. Uh, but guys, stick around. I'll have plenty more content coming for you. And I'll see you all soon.